one, and lift off the rise of Starliner and a new era in human spaceflight. In 2019, Boeing and NASA attempted to send an uncrewed spacecraft to the International Space Station, but the test flight failed to reach the correct orbit. It was just one in a series of issues the company's space program has faced in recent years. Now, as Boeing gears up to launch Starliner again, all eyes are on the company. If it succeeds, the test flight could renew investor and customer confidence in Boeing's space program. But if it fails, it could put a dent in the already weakened aerospace company. So it's a big challenge with very high stakes and a lot of national and corporate pride at stake and a lot of money at stake. Here's how Boeing, which was once the gold standard of the stars, got to this point. For decades, Boeing was at the cutting edge of the space industry. They've been involved in every major NASA development. This is Stephen Gannot, a space industry veteran who's consulted in the industry for 15 years. They built critical communication satellites for NASA and for others in the commercial and the national security industry. In 2014, Boeing was awarded a NASA contract worth as much as $4.2 billion. But just four years later, an external audit found that the world's largest aerospace company was struggling. In October 2018, at the direction of Congress, NASA released an audit of its space launch system, also known as the SLS. This deep space explorer is the most powerful rocket NASA has ever developed and is one of the agency's largest contracts with Boeing. NASA's audit found that the project was years behind schedule and billions of dollars over budget, due in part to management, technical, and infrastructure issues driven by Boeing's poor performance. What the auditor's report did was, was surface to the space division some of the, the engineering challenges that seem to have seeped throughout the company, both its broader defense and commercial jetliner business. Doug Cameron has covered Boeing and the larger aerospace and defense industry for over 30 years. He explains that as the development of the space launch system continued, Boeing was juggling another high-profile contract with NASA as well the Commercial Crew Program, which aims to send astronauts and cargo to and from the International Space Station inside of Boeing's Starliner crew capsule. Boeing was the original prime contractor and integrator for the International Space Station, so they helped design and implement that from inception, and they still helped to operate the space station. And being able to bring astronauts up on a Boeing capsule to the station is something that Boeing has set out as a major goal for its space program. When Starliner launched in December 2019, it was a critical moment for Boeing. But just minutes into the test flight, NASA's controllers knew something had gone wrong. So we did have, obviously, some challenges today. Uh, when, the, when the spacecraft separated from the launch vehicle, um, we did not get the orbital insertion burn that we were hoping for. The spacecraft's internal timer was off by 11 hours, stranding it in the wrong orbit which prevented it from being able to reach the International Space Station. The failure in 2019 of the on-orbit test of Starliner was driven primarily due to faulty software and maybe more importantly, faulty software testing. Boeing chose to design tests in a way that were not truly representative or tied to the actual vehicle itself. And these mistakes were costly. Boeing has taken a $410 million charge primarily to run a second test. This is about 10% of the program's entire budget. A Boeing spokesperson said that since the first test flight, the company has made important changes to the software code that are consistent with the recommendations of the Boeing NASA independent review team. So I think Boeing is invested in this both with its brand as a, as a great and historic engineering company uh, that has been serving NASA since its inception, but also financially because Boeing, as we all know, overall is in much more difficult financial circumstances due to pandemic and problems with their commercial aircraft. And that puts an even higher uh, spotlight on the performance of Starliner. Since Starliner's orbital failure in 2019, Boeing's space program has faced a series of additional challenges. In 2020, federal prosecutors opened a criminal probe into whether a senior NASA official improperly told a Boeing executive about the status of a lunar lander contract, causing the company to change its bid. Boeing ultimately lost the contract to competitors. 
and in January 2021, the company faced another setback when the main engines for the space launch system shut down prematurely during a ground test. These problems are to be expected, that's why you do the testing. The problem for Boeing is it's the latest in a series of very high profile failures and obviously have customers and Boeing investors asking the question, you know, when will they get it right? But despite years of issues and wavering faith from NASA, Boeing has seen successes in the space industry as well. It's a 50-50 partner in the United Launch Alliance a company which has successfully launched over 140 consecutive missions, more than any other launch program in the world. Boeing has also developed satellites, spacesuits, and other technology for NASA, and continues to play a key role in the maintenance of the International Space Station. For Boeing, the space program is a key part of the company. It's part of its defense, space, and security unit, Boeing's largest by revenue, after a sharp drop in aircraft deliveries over the past two years. With travel demand still weak due to the pandemic, experts say Boeing will likely continue to rely on the unit. This is one reason all eyes are on the company's next test launch of Starliner. The spacecraft's second uncrewed flight was slated for March, but has been pushed back due to scheduling and repair delays. For Boeing, the pressure is on. The company is already far behind competitor SpaceX, which has successfully launched astronauts to the ISS as part of NASA's commercial crew program. The entire industry will be looking at Boeing, who's already named astronauts that it would like to fly. Those astronauts are ready and waiting to go up on a Boeing vehicle. But Boeing needs to make sure that vehicle is safe. It needs to make sure that not only all of the mechanical and normal challenges are addressed, but all of the software and the software testing and oversight challenges have been addressed and have been managed by the company. If the launch is a success, astronauts could be flying to the International Space Station inside Boeing's Starliner later this year. This would be a big win for Boeing at large. The company's CEO, David Calhoun, said that Boeing was proud of all the products and services our engineers have developed and delivered to our commercial and military customers over these last difficult years, and of the meaningful progress we are making in safety, transparency, and quality. The success or failure of Starliner will help determine the future of Boeing and its role in the exploration and commercialization of outer space.